Well, welcome back to our AWS course. So today we are going to uh, see about uh, client side VPN. So how to configure uh, client side VPN? In the AWS, uh, there is an option client uh, VPN in point. With this, uh, what we can do? Uh, the client uh, from a la laptop they can connect to our uh, AWS uh, over the secure VPN. So previously we have learned about uh, IPsec, uh, which connects to uh, sites. Here basically uh, it connects a client uh, to the network in AWS. So how a client using a computer or laptop connect to the AWS uh, network securely and have communication with the private IP. So basically we need to configure the client VPN network in the AWS and uh, we need to uh, provide the details and the software to the client so that uh, they will uh, install and configure at uh, their end uh, and uh, the certificate details everything we need to authenticate uh, post that they will be able to connect to the <coughs> aws uh, vpn network securely then uh, they will be uh, able to access the resources which are residing behind the subnet okay so the client uh, site to VPN, uh, we are going to uh, see now. So how to configure client to site uh, VPN? Just go to a client uh, VPN endpoint. Create client VPN endpoint. So basically, we need some additional uh, parameters for uh, authentication and all. Like uh, we need to create uh, a certificate. Maybe you can uh, create certificate using Amazon Certificate Manager. There is another service available. Also, we need to have the Active Directory uh, configuration uh, enabled in the AWS. There is another uh, service called the Directory Services. So, uh, we need to have uh, Active Directory ID and the certificates in order to configure the uh, client VPN endpoint. Now, Now, I have to give uh, the subnet range what I have defined in my VPC. So, at least we have to specify slash 22 range, that is a mandatory one. Then the server side. So, for this uh, VPN practice, I am going to uh, switch to Oregon region where I have direct services and uh, certificates uh, are configured. Already. Okay. Now one seventy two dot twenty dot zero dot zero slash twenty two. Then the certificate I have created already. I'm going to select uh, this uh, authentication. So it's going to authenticate again is the Active Directory server, which I have the services in my AWS. Then do you want to log the connection detail so that uh, it will uh, log the activity of the client. So what all it has been accessed uh, over the VPN. So uh, for logging information, uh, maybe record by security team for log analysis, it is good. If you want, you can enable this lock option and you can send to CloudWatch or uh, S3 bucket. Now I am giving the option as uh, no. Then there are some default parameters. I am going to leave as it is. Then uh, select uh, the VPC for which you want to enable the client side VPN. Yeah, you are selected. Then the communication port should be secure. 443 we need certificate. That's why you have specified here. Then go to create client VPN endpoint. Okay. Now it is showing bending associate. So what is that? We need to associate this client uh, VPN by going to association, click on associate and select the VPC again. Okay. And on which subnet I want to associate. I have to specify the particular subnet so that the resources uh, behind the subnet can be accessible over uh, client to side VPN. Okay. Now 
Yeah. Now the subnet has been successfully associated. As you see here, the status is showing associating. So it may take a couple of minutes for associating the subnet uh, to this uh, client uh, VPN endpoint. Uh, let me pause the recording for a moment. So uh, it is taking longer time for associating the client VPN endpoint. So uh, after association, uh, it will say the status associated. Since the status is still going on, uh, I'm going to explain some other things on the same topic. So uh, you need to download the client configuration uh, file and give it to the client. Let's go to download client configuration, click on download. Here uh, you will see that uh, uh, client configuration file. Uh, this file you can attach and send it to the uh, person who want to connect to the client to site, AWS site VPN. Okay. Then uh, once the person is connected, uh, here you will see the uh, connection status. How many clients are uh, connected? So all the details uh, you will get it here. So if you want to modify the security group, you can modify it here. Then uh, routing table. If you want to customize, you can customize still. So there are other options are available. Uh, you can explore. So uh, that's all for the client side uh, VPN configuration. Uh, please practice at uh, your end and let me know if you face any challenge. Thank you so much for watching this class. See you. Bye.